So it is September 6, 2013's weekly wrap-up. Two releases, the Jazz Melodic Minor Scale and step number one, actually step number one in the harmony course. And just a smidgen of what's going to happen in that course, just getting started with it. Now, if you are on the website and you are looking at the harmony course, the first thing I asked you to do was to, I put together a set of intervals for you just to listen to. I'm not even talking about how to identify them or anything, just to absorb that. And I'm asking you, please, do it, do it, do it. It'll make you such a better singer. This is one of the little secrets, or one of the things that everybody's mystified as to what makes a good singer. And I'll tell you what makes a good singer, lots of things, but one of the things is the ability to really blend into the chord changes as a lead singer or as a harmony singer. And by studying this harmony course, you're going to learn how to sing harmony and you're going to learn how to arrange harmony, no problem, and you'll learn how to what the best part is and where to put the parts and all of those things. But you will also learn from a lead singer standpoint how to kind of pick out the chords and sing perfectly into the chord. So when I hear people singing lead and I'm producing them in the recording studio, I'm of course listening for pitch. That's one of the things I listen for all the time. And when people hit sustaining moments, moments where they're sustaining on the tones and the chord changes are wrapped around them, that's when you can really hear if they've got an ear for nailing into the chord changes and nailing that harmony, whatever it is within the chord changes of that melody line, or if they're floaty, and it makes a gigantic difference as to how they're perceived. So, get into the, uh, the Harmony course. Much to follow. Much to follow. Be checking it out. There'll be another release next week, and so forth and so forth. And again, on the Melodic Jazz Minor, that's in the Advanced Voice course. You, again, internalizing the sounds of all the various scales and all of these scales stacked in thirds in different ways and used as improvisational approaches and even how melody lines are developed, all of that plays together as well. And the fact that you've been vocalizing all of those different scales, getting your reflexes together muscle memory wise with the proper vocal technique, again, will feed right back and help you in the harmony course. Uh, these courses are going to help each other in relationship to becoming a better vocalist. So. Uh, Continue on with the advanced voice course, if that's where you're at, and uh, get started with the harmony course, no matter who you are. Now, for the musical tip of the week, well, for you YouTubers who are not on the site and not having the availability of learning how to sing all the various scale patterns that are being put together in the advanced voice course, and I always talk about the advanced voice course. The beginning course gets together and really explains how you need to control your voice and start to get all of the basics down in a very good way uh, and develop a very strong foundation. Now the intermediate course that we have, I know this sounds like a commercial but there's a point to this and it's not, but the intermediate course builds up technique and really teaches you how to sing through your bridges and connect and develop strength. When you get to the advanced voice course, that strength is being developed and, and even more strength and power is developed by taking away air pressures from your vocal cords while you're simultaneously internalizing and learning a lot more about scales and scales and arpeggios. Arpeggios are broken chords stacked in thirds and the scales are things that are moving. That's a major scale and it's just moving in a scalular way. Whole steps, half step combinations. those are different scales starting on different degrees. Now the best for a beginner to get started when it comes to exercises, it's always best to start to work with scale patterns and lots of times even just half scales or various sounds. Later on you start getting developed in patterns where the chords are broken up in, in larger interval leaps. But the first thing you want to do is work a little bit on a scalar approach. I'm always talking to everybody about their onsets. Onsets are, uh, I didn't bang into that or scoop up to that or fall down into it. Right on the money, but in a very balanced way. Again, if I go, 
I'll do it wrong here. If I go, ah, uh, I'm scooping up. If I go, ah, uh, I'm banging into it, which creates really havoc in your throat, and it's a bad thing. Getting the reflex to be able to go, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, get that start. And once you got that start, ah, uh, 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 take a breath to end the note. Notice at the end, when I ended the note, I didn't go, Ah, uh, and sort of run out of air. You don't want to do that. Uh, see how that's stopping clean? I'm just taking a breath against the sound, and that just stops the note. And I don't shock myself or make a big deal out of the breath. Everything is very smooth and even. Uh, uh, uh. Now we have two resonators, which known as a mouth resonator and a nasal resonator. Depending upon where you're at in the range of the note, you're more in your mouth, uh, or if you get a little higher, uh, it starts to sort of move out of the mouth and up through the nasal pharynx back into the nasal resonator. Uh, you don't want to force that to happen, but you want to let that happen. Uh, so what did I do there? I got a good start. Uh, I sirened up a fifth. Uh, actually, yeah, the fifth. Uh, and then back down to the root, back down to the one. Uh, mouth resonator, nasal resonator, mouth resonator. Uh, take a breath to end the note so you don't fall off the end. Because we're animals of air and we'll have this tendency to go, uh, and when that happens, you start to go flat. Now I'm showing this, I'm demonstrating this to you as one, as, as a couple notes. But it's the same thing if you're singing a phrase. If you're running out of air or dropping off the end and not stopping cleanly off the end of your phrase, you'll always have a tendency to go flat off the ends of the phrases. So just practicing this and getting this involved into your muscle memory is a great way to start to get that discipline going so whenever you sing a phrase you're thinking in the, with the same process. So again scales, if you're a beginner it's good to start with basic scales, half scales, probably major scales, good onsets, take a breath off the end to end the note and that's a good start for you. But you want to learn a whole lot more about that, a whole lot more about voice, you know what I'm going to say. Come on over to totallyvocals.com. You can sign up, get some free lessons, 10 to be exact. And then if you like what you're seeing here, then go ahead and get involved in the site and have access to all of the wonderful information that we have on the site, which is so much at this point in time. A uh, full course on vibrato, how to develop your vibrato, a beginning, intermediate, and an advanced course. The harmony course is on its way now and people are getting exp uh, are being able to learn how to sing harmony so come on over and learn all of these things with us totallyvocals.com